up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 Buick Enclave CXL. Pearl white on the outside with gray leather interior. Loaded up with factory navigation, backup camera, factory running boards, power tailgate, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Has four brand new tires just installed to have less than a couple miles just back and forth to the tire shop. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We're open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. We will soon be moving to 3071, 3071 Northwest 107th Avenue in Doral. 33172 is the zip code there. That's going to happen at the end of August, beginning of September 2016. Uh, just that, that is just one mile north of the Miami International and Dolphin Malls, right on one, right off of 107th Avenue and 30th Terrace. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get inside. Show you interior options. It does have the uh, factory running boards for the little ones to climb on. Got roof rack with crossbars. Slide up and up and down the side rails. The door panels are two tone. It's called, that's what they call light titanium. Dark titanium is just light gray with medium gray. With a wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. You get also memory uh, for, for up to two drivers. Bose a stereo sound system. Little storage pocket here with a bottle holder. Driver's side, power seat, power reclining, and lumbar support. And also automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off a sunrise. A manual till wheel. You got curtain side airbags on all four posts. You got one on this post here, 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 and here. And you also got seat side airbags. I think you'll be able to see that better from the back here. This is a uh, seven passenger vehicle, two in the front, bucket seats in the middle for a total of four, and a full bench in the rear for up to three passengers. And they all have over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger. All right, we'll come back here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get inside, get it started, show you the interior options. Okay. Let's get it started. Okay, let's start off with the air conditioning. It's really hot outside. All right. As you can see, we got dual climate control. I've got the uh, driver's side right now at 60, while the driver's side is at 70. And all that really does is it makes the AC vents on the right-hand side of the vehicle blow at 70, while the ones here on the left-hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60, or whatever it is you set it to. Okay. Get your navigation. Let me lower the fan list to you. You won't be able to hear me with that. Okay. There's your navigation. If I put the vehicle in reverse, you get your uh, backup camera, and that along with a parking sensor should help you back up should help you uh, avoid accidents when backing up. Let's go ahead and test out those sensors. We're going to back up to those vehicles behind us. Right, this is your first set of warnings. It's letting you know that we're approaching other vehicles. Okay. We're going to get even closer. It starts beeping. And now you get a little um, triangle there. And eventually, as we get closer, triangle gets bigger and I think it eventually gets in red. Alright, just to give you an idea how that works. Alright, let's pull up. Okay, let's right here so we can get a little bit of lighting there. Okay. Um all right. Uh let's go ahead and um let's start off from the top here. Got a storage pocket over here. Nice analog clock here in the center. All right. Uh, okay, so of course there's your navigation. And we do have, um, it, it is a touch screen. It does have XM capability. Although right now it's an, um, 
You have to sign up for a subscription by calling their number uh, or going to the website. Let's go ahead and listen to the music here. And uh, let's see here. You can raise the volume right from the steering wheel here. Raise it. Lower it. Mute it here in the center. Uh, these buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set down here yourself, which of course can be changed. The source button that takes you, helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM to um, to your disc, your CD changer, auxiliary, which is your uh, uh, port here for your iPod music. Uh, this one here is your seek button, takes you to the next available station. Once you pair the phone to the Bluetooth, you can answer the phone over here and hang it up over here. If you're not using the Bluetooth, you can hold down the mute button and access your voice commands. Cruise control on the left hand side of the vehicle here. <coughs> All right, um, <coughs> excuse me, the front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch so the window will go down. And these mirrors are also heated. Okay. Same thing for going up. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up all the way on its own. The car has 82,878 miles. To the right of that is the outside temperature. Uh, from the bottom up here, in the center console here where you rest your elbow, you get a two-tier storage, your top tier. And actually, this is only top tier storage. And then you slide up and down to get it in whatever position you want. If you slide it back, you can access this um, tray here, which is actually removable. And it's got a deeper storage down there with a USB port. Coin slots. Cup holders here in the center. You do have an automatic transmission. It has a manual shifting mode. I'll show you how that works. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. And that's how you're going to drive it most of the time. But if you push it down to the L, now you can make the transmission shift by tapping here. If you press on the plus, it's going to shift up. If you press on the minus, it's going to shift down. That doesn't interest you. You don't need to use that. Just leave it on the D. And the automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. Okay. Um, heated seats. You can heat the entire seat with this button here and the one above only the backrest. If you press it once, it goes straight to high. Press it again for medium one more time for low, one more time for off and then the, uh, this one here does the exact same thing except that one only heats the, um, uh, the backrest and not the entire seat. This is your power tailgate here to open and close it. Your towing haul mode which disables the overdrive and makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust to the extra cargo load. Uh, you got your traction control and your rear windshield wiper and washer. Um, we'll put the AC back down to the maximum because it's hot outside today. Get your onboard computer right here. This is going to display right where your odometer is at. And this is for your personal settings, systems checked, and also um, personal preferences. Your main glove box, it's over here. And then there is your um, all your books that you need, your owner's manual, and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Up in the top here, you get a set of map lights. You get also your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. This vehicle is equipped with the All-Star system. By the way, it's got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Uh, so the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, we will get you a 90-day free trial with a OnStar at no cost to you. Let me tell you what OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you have a, um, if you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you're checking your light comes on, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance and concierge service. Also, they provide you with a 24-hour phone number. You call that number, identify yourself. Let's say you say you lock your keys inside your car. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. 
For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealer for your 90-day free trial. Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area. You can see it's also in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, and no odor of smoke. I right, got your uh, leather wrap string wheel uh, with wood trimming in the bottom and also in the top up here. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and turn off the car and let's move to the middle row and rear row sections. Again, four brand new tires just installed. Just a mile or two back and forth to the tire shop. All right, left rear door panel, same way, two-tone, dark titanium with a light titanium. You got storage pocket down here, cup holder here, and wood trimming all around. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. Let me show you how that goes. Get your key, stick it in there, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you get little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage it, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite, give it half a twist to the right, and this handle will start working again. In the back of the center console, the little, the, the middle row passengers can control the rear AC, the fan speed, where it flows, how cold or how they want it. They can also control the stereo, volume, tuning, and this headphone jacks for privacy. Down below here, you got your, um, uh, your power outlet, just like you do at home. I don't know if you can see that very well there. Okay. And a cigarette lighter adapter over here. To gain access to the third row, the little ones usually just walk in between. But if you want the, uh, if you want to make the seat fold out of the way, you can pull up on this handle here. The seat back will lift up and it'll slide out of the way to give you nice and easy access to the third row. These tabs here are to indicate to you that in here you have anchors for your baby car seat, so you can put your baby car seat on either one of the two middle row positions. There's also AC vents over here and map lights for the middle row passengers and another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row <coughs> passengers. If you look at the headliner now, so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. Really nice condition. All right, let's move over to the cargo area. <coughs> All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome emblems are in good shape. They're not cracked, pitted, or peeling. You got a rear wiper, the little orange lines in your glass, which is your rear window defogger. You got the um, parking sensors in the rear bumper. There are two on each side. Those are the ones that were beeping earlier when you're approaching the vehicle or object. Behind this beauty cover is your class three heavy duty tone package. And to reveal, all you gotta do is remove a couple of plastic wing nuts, half a twist, and they come right off. But in the meantime, while you're not towing, it looks much sharper with the beauty cover. All right, let's go ahead and open up up here. There's a switch in here, you squeeze it. Now, as long as the car is unlocked, you can open up the tailgate. There are three different ways to open up the tailgate. By squeezing the tailgate handle as I just did, by pressing the switch on the inside of the car I showed you earlier, and by the remote control. <clears throat> Back here, we got a 60-40 bench, 60% on this side, 40% on that side, and this can be made to lay down really easy to go into cargo mode. You first, first pull up on this handle, the seat he the headrest pops, and then you just then you just push it down, and it lays down almost completely flat, or I should say completely flat. To bring it back up, you grab the strap, pull it here, put it back here, it's got Velcro so it stays in one place, and put the headrest back up. And because they're independent from each other, you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both and go into full cargo mode. Cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. To close the tailgate, we can do it right here. This vehicle also has remote start. You lock it up, you press a little circle at the top of your remote, and the car starts right up, which helps you cool down the car before you get in it. Or, or warm it up before you get in it, depending on what setting you have for the air conditioning or heater. <coughs> right rear door panel. <coughs> Middle row bucket seat here. Another look at the rear re seating area there. Perfect condition, real well taken care of, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks. Move over to the passenger side here. 
right front door panel. All right, um, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the homepage, up at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.